Reaction continues to pour in. We'll send it over now to CP24's Lena Latifat with more. Lena. Lindsay, Hazel McCallion defined public service. She served mayor as mayor of Mississauga for almost four decades. She eventually retired at 93. Imagine that. And there was no slowing her down. You couldn't slow down Hurricane Hazel. Someone who knew her very well is the premier of this province, Premier Doug Ford, and he now joins me live. Premier, thank you so much for sitting down with us. I know this is a tough loss for you. I understand you were there for her in her final moments. Well, yes, yesterday afternoon, um, I, I spent the afternoon and just held her hand and uh, told her I loved her and that uh, she's going to be missed. But she was such an inspiration uh, with uh, so many mayors, uh, so many women in politics, and inspiration with myself and even my late brother Rob. You had a very special relationship with her, didn't you? We did. We did. I'd call her, I'd go over and pay her a visit. She'd come to my house on Saturday mornings and have breakfast and, and just uh, sharp as a tack. Even up to uh, last week when I was with her as well, you know, she, she was sharp as a tack, talking about everything, and, and, uh, and she was so excited. She brought a box over to me. You know, I, I brought her flowers all the time, gave her flowers. She said, I, I have something for you. I just ordered these. And then she gave me, uh, gave me this little bobblehead. A little bobblehead. And, um, and then she, she was able still to grab the magic marker and put to my favorite premier, Love Hazel. So yeah, she's going to be missed, but we... And, and that sits yeah. in your office now, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, she's going to be missed. This is, she, she was an icon. She, she built Mississauga uh, from every park to every building and, and uh, turned out beautiful. Wow, to my favorite premier. Yeah. Speaking of that, you know, she, she endorsed you as, as premier of this province. Yeah. What, what did that mean to you to have the backing of somebody like Hazel McCallion, a legend in Canadian politics? It meant everything to me. She supported me in the first election, supported me on the second one, and, and it just, uh, I value all, everything that she taught me and the knowledge she, she gave me uh, many times. And if she didn't agree, um, just like, say, your mother would tell you, you know, don't go this way, go that way. And, and uh, I just have such fond, fond men memories of her. Yeah, I was speaking with uh, former Premier of Ontario, Kathleen Wynne, and we were talking about how she was small but mighty. I mean, she was yeah. tough as nails, wasn't oh, she? Oh, my goodness, <laughs> tough as nails. And as she built Mississauga, I'm sure you could talk to any builder. You know, if they were called into her office. Uh, watch out. <laughs> she would, you know, she'd tell them exactly what she believed in and and then they'd follow through with uh, the designs or their parks or any anything that she wanted. Uh, there's very few people that I know of anywhere in the country that would run for mayor and in a very large city and not worry about putting up one sign, not worrying about taking a donation just put her name on the ballot and win with 90 some odd percent of the vote. It's unheard of. And she won 12 consecutive 12 terms. Yeah, 12 times since 1978. And uh, I encourage everyone, if you really want to see the history of, of Hazel, get, get, get her book that uh, she issued. And all, all, all the money goes to the Trillium Hospital. She personally raised millions of dollars uh, for Trillium. Uh, and she was instrumental in building the hospitals out there and pretty well building everything and and the new LRT will be called the Hazel McCallion right. uh, line. I like the Hurricane Hazel, I told her. <laughs> yeah, that's a good line. one. But I just visualized, you know, getting one of those big decals on the side of the LRT and uh, so I just have uh, fond, fond memories. What did she teach you as a politician? So, so many things, you know, uh, collaboration, common sense. I always say it goes hand in hand. 
you have collaboration, you do powerful things, and I always, you know, believed, and she believed. Um, we don't. I, I don't have the the power, or Hazel didn't have the the power. But if you surround yourself with uh, great people, then the whole group can do powerful things. They, you know, she always said they have a lot of responsibility, and. Uh, and with that responsibility, you can get a lot of things done. You've talked about your special bond with yes. Hazel McCallion. What would she say to you when the cameras weren't rolling behind the scenes? What was that like she, at one-on-one -on -one time? You know, Hazel wasn't different uh, behind the cameras and even in front of the cameras. And I think everyone knew, you know, she, she was a force to be reckoned with, um, right up to the prime minister, uh, all the way down to city councillors, other mayors premiers, myself, and all the other premiers she, she dealt with, and uh, she would just say what's on her mind, and 99% of the time, she was right. Not even say 100% of the time, she was right. So. And if she didn't agree with you, she'd let you know. Oh, she'd let you know, on no uncertain terms. And she'd tell you the reason. She just wouldn't disagree. She'd say, this is what I believe, and then here are the reasons. And they made sense. And they just... Premier, how would you define her commitment to public service? Second to none. Second to none. You won't find another mayor, I believe, ever, uh, past or present, that served the people. It was all about the people and uh, listening to the people and really, really supporting them. And even on a, on a financial side, there was never any debt under, under Hazel. She always, you know, believed in keeping taxes low, making life affordable for people, and she really listened to, you know, the, the people that voted her in. And Mississauga is so diverse, and she was connected. When I'd go out with her, she'd be connected to every single community, uh, every race, religion that you, you could imagine, and. They loved her, yeah, and, and she loved them too. Yeah, and she talked about being the people's mayor. That's all she wanted, right? That's right. Yeah, Do you remember the first time you met her? Boy, I met her so many times before, but where we really started really bond very closely when Rob got elected in two, 2010, and I'd speak to her frequently. And boy, when her and Rob got together, I'll tell you, it was uh, it was exciting. I think. Uh, God has his hands full now. He has Rob and, and Hazel. <laughs> yeah, she's obviously meant so much to the yeah. Ford family. Has she ever? Has she ever? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more, because there are so many people who are watching this right now, and there's been an outpouring of support. Yes. Can you tell me more about those final moments with her? Is there anything you think that she'd want people watching today in this moment to know? Well, I, I don't really want to get into her personal conversation, but um, I'll, I'll tell you when she was conscious and I went to see her and she was talking about everything, talking about you know politics and policy and a little bit of everything and uh, she didn't miss a beat. You know, there's very few 101 year old people that were as sharp as a, as a tack and she never missed a beat. And then yesterday, um, yeah, that, that was sad. With, her family and, and some friends, uh, very close people. And I was just, uh, all of us just want to make sure she was comfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just sat beside the bed and held her hand, and rubbed her hand and kissed her and told her I love her. That's the last Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was good. It, was, it wasn't good, it was good that I was with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good that so, you were there with her. Yeah, that's right. There are so many people who want to pay their respects and say mm -hmm. goodbye to the force that Hazel McCallion was. Yes. Um, I mean, there are people on Twitter. Everybody is is wanting to know details about, you know, yeah. a state funeral. And we know Mississauga's Mayor Bonnie Crombie has talked about it. I know that it is still very early, but is there anything you're able to tell us about funeral arrangements? Well, I, I, I talked to uh, Mayor Crombie this morning. And they're working hand in hand uh, with uh, protocol within Mississauga. Uh, we've 
offered a state funeral uh, for her, and, and I, I'm sure that you'll see people from all over the country. Um, you'll see uh, previous premiers. I'm sure the prime minister, I know she endorsed the prime minister in the last two elections. And uh, I'm sure, I'm not speaking for him, but I'm sure he'll, he'll be there. Uh, she, she had that, uh, just the, the sense of duty, uh, and every, everyone respected her, you know, everyone. If I can just ask you to sum up Hazel McCallion, I know it's a tough feat, but in one word, what is the word that comes to mind? Oh, caring. She cared for everyone. Uh, she cared about doing the right thing for the people cared about people that may not be as fortunate as others, always being there. And uh, she connected with absolutely everyone, no matter if it was Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, and there's been pictures together there, or, or you know, I'm sure presidents and, and prime ministers. And it didn't matter the political stripe with Hazel. It didn't matter what, what color of politics, you know, there was Hazel's politics, and that covered, covered uh, everyone right across the board. Absolutely. Uh, Premier Doug yeah. Ford, I want to thank you so much for your time. I also yeah, want to offer you, you our sincerest condolences. Thank you, know, you so much. This is a very difficult time. Thank you for sitting down with CP24. No, thank you, Lena. I appreciate it. And God bless Hazel. Yeah, God bless Hazel. And, and stick around with us as our coverage continues. Hurricane Hazel passes away at the incredible age of 101 and the trip.